As the parade of graduates approaches, we salute the states and territories whose sons and daughters will graduate today. Delaware, Pennsylvania, New Jersey, Georgia, Connecticut, Massachusetts, Maryland, South Carolina, New Hampshire, Virginia, New York, North Carolina, Rhode Island, Vermont, Kentucky, Tennessee, Ohio, Louisiana, Indiana, Mississippi, Illinois, Alabama, Maine, Missouri, Arkansas, Michigan, Florida, Texas, Iowa, Wisconsin, California, Minnesota, Oregon, Kansas, West Virginia, Nevada, Nebraska, Colorado, North Dakota, South Dakota, Montana, Washington, Idaho, Wyoming, Utah, Oklahoma, New Mexico, Arizona, Alaska, Hawaii, District of Columbia, Puerto Rico, Guam, American Samoa, Northern Mariana Islands, U.S. Virgin Islands, State, Flags, Order, Arms. And now, we invite you to join the staff of Recruit Training Command in welcoming the graduating divisions with your applause as they enter Midway Ceremonial Drill Hall and are announced in the following order. Ladies and gentlemen, Please rise as we welcome today's graduating divisions. Welcome, Division 2, 2, 1.
two, two, three. Division two, two, four. Division two, two, five. Division two, two, six. Today's graduating performing unit is Division 929. <laughs> Division 929 provides the recruit choir, drill team, and band for today's ceremony. Ladies and gentlemen, you may be seated. Thank you. Divisions, right, face, Section leaders, fall out and collect outer garments. Stand, blood, carry on. Four, platoon, formation, four.
divisions. Counter. March. Visions halt. May I have your attention, please? For the remainder of the review, no one will be permitted to pass in front of the review stand, and we ask this as a courtesy to our reviewing officer. Photography is certainly encouraged, but we ask that you remain seated and off the drill deck. The photographers you'll see on deck throughout the review are the official photographers of Recruit, Training, Command. Division commanders, left or right, face, parade, rest. Ladies and gentlemen, good morning. I am Lieutenant Daniel Alcorn, Recruit Training Command's Master of Ceremonies. I would like to welcome you to today's pass and review. Today, you will see six divisions comprised of 367 sailors participating in their graduation ceremony and soon to join the most powerful Navy in the world. Please, draw your attention to the unit positioned at center deck. There is the review commander and staff. The review commander is responsible for conducting the graduation ceremony. Today's review commander is Seaman Recruit Ismael Pagan from Jersey City, New Jersey. Let's give him a hand, folks. Performing today is the State Flags Unit on their eighth week of training, the Staff Unit on their ninth week of training, and the Triple Threat Unit on their tenth and final week of training. These units are comprised entirely of recruits. During their night of arrival, recruits are placed into divisions of 88 personnel and assigned division commanders. Recruit division commanders form the backbone of recruit training and are key individuals in the life of every recruit. Division commanders must serve as counselors, disciplinarians, administrators, and military leaders. Above all, they must show themselves as outstanding examples of military bearing, appearance, attitude, and behavior. Each division also has a recruit chief petty officer. This senior recruit supervises the divisional staff positions and leads the division in the absence of the division commanders. 
Now, ladies and gentlemen, it is my pleasure to introduce the graduating divisions, their division commanders, and recruit chief petty officers. As I introduce each division, they will raise the competitive flags that they have earned throughout their training. As I introduce each recruit chief petty officer, the, rep the flag representing their home state will also be raised. Please hold your applause until all introductions have been completed. I'll be starting from their right. Division two, two, one. Commanded by Chief Petty Officer Johnny Payano Mendez. Chief Petty Officer Mark Pastro. Petty Officer First Class Sarah Marie Mason. Petty Officer First Class Drew Ferniason. And their recruit chief, Petty Officer Airman Nicole Rankin from Milton Freewater, Oregon. Division two, two, three. Commanded by Petty Officer First Class Justin Alvarado. Petty Officer First Class Carlos Rodriguez. Petty Officer Second Class Gabriela Vasquez. Petty Officer Second Class Wesley Green. And the Recruit Chief Petty Officer Seaman Jadana McKnight from Zion, Illinois. Division 2 2 4. Commanded by Chief Petty Officer Jason Lacey. Chief Petty Officer Ron John. Petty Officer First Class Catherine Fleming. Petty Officer First Class Dave Terrica Hodge. And the Recruit Chief Petty Officer Ruth Tuelamuto from Pearl City, Hawaii. Division 2 2 5. Commanded by Chief Petty Officer Brett Holt. Chief Petty Officer Matt Brady. Petty Officer First Class Zachary Cornwell. Petty Officer Second Class Jake Tomasic. And their recruit Chief Petty Officer Seaman Apprentice Michael Salmon. From Baltimore, Maryland. Division 2, 2, 6. Commanded by Senior Chief Petty Officer Kelly Ringeman. Chief Petty Officer Lewis Jones. Petty Officer First Class Austin Lloyd. Petty Officer Second Class, Angel Cabrero. And the Recruit Chief Petty Officer, Seaman Brian Lewis from Hepzibah, Georgia. Division 929. Nine. Commanded by Chief Petty Officer, Raymond Weimer. Chief Petty Officer Michelle Dojun. Petty Officer Second Class Antonio Castro. Petty Officer Second Class Arrington Jenkins. And in memory of Petty Officer Second Class Asia Barnes, represented by Petty Officer First Class Lenise Brown. and the Recruit Chief Petty Officer, Airman Keaton Casper from Las Vegas, Nevada. On behalf of the Commanding Officer and Staff of Recruit Training Command, we congratulate these Division Commanders and Recruit Chief Petty Officers on a job well done.
In a moment, you will see the ceremonial side boys, boatswain and honor guard, take their places for arrival honors. This time-honored tradition is our formal greeting to this morning's reviewing officer. When requested by the announcer, please stand for the arrival honors, marching on of the colors, the national anthem, and the invocation. As a reminder, military guests shall remain covered throughout the entire graduation ceremony. And ladies and gentlemen, one final note. As befitting the importance of this occasion, our ceremony is conducted in a formal manner. However, we do encourage you to participating in today's graduation ceremony by letting your applause show these sailors just how proud of them you are. Once again, welcome aboard. Divisions, attention! Will the guests please rise and remain standing for the arrival of the official party? Recruit Training Command, arriving. Carl Vinson, arriving. Order arms. The guest may be seated.
Color Guard, parade the colors. Will the guests please rise? Present arms. Retire the colors. Present arms. Order arms. Chaplain Cho will now offer this morning's invocation. Let us pray. Gracious God, as we gather this morning to celebrate the accomplishment of these newest sailors of our fleet, I ask you for your abiding presence with us and thank you that you have always been and will always remain faithful. I thank you, God, that we celebrate much more than an accomplishment today. We also applaud the efforts of our recruit division commanders. We recognize the dedication of our staff and instructors, and we give thanks for the support and encouragement of our newest Navy families. We also take this time to remember and honor the life of VO2 Asia Barnes, and we give thanks for our family here with us today. For all of us here at RTC that were blessed to spend a season of life with her, God, Hear our gratitude. Today, as we send out into the fleet these newest sailors, we're confident that they're ready. But God, we know they cannot do this alone. So God, I pray, grant them your favor and your grace. Surround them with a team both selfless and honorable. Give these sailors courage and strength, knowing that wherever they're sent, wherever they go, God, you go with them. May they and all of us persevere until the end. In your most holy name I pray, amen.
Our guests may be seated. At this point, the commanding officer will issue orders and instructions to the unit commanders. Then, the unit commanders will face about and relay the information to their divisions. Today's events show how orders are passed through the chain of command. Very well. The Sailor's Creed. I. Good morning, Captain. I present the graduating divisions. Request permission to commence the review. Very well, commence the review. Aye, aye, sir.
left or right face. What one is reporting, sir? Very well. Good morning. I'm Captain Kurtrick Brooks, Commanding Officer, Recruit Training Command. I'm pleased to welcome families and friends to our graduation ceremony, including the family of Petty Officer Asia Barnes, her parents Denise and James Powers, and Dwayne Barnes and Sheila Otterberg, along with her brothers Demarcus and Justin. I look forward to sharing this momentous occasion with all of you. With us today is our reviewing officer, Captain Scott Miller, commanding officer of the aircraft carrier USS Carl Vinson, and our guest of honor, Colonel Adrian Bogart, Commandant, Virginia Military Institute Corps of Cadets. I cannot thank all of our visitors enough for your continu continued support, and I'm sure your sailors are grateful for your encouragement throughout their training. I would also like to welcome all the veterans in our audience for their service to our country. Would all of our veterans please stand, and let's give them a round of applause. Division 929 graduates today, they are the Triple Threat Unit, providing recruit choir, drill team, and band. Please join me in giving them and the five other graduating divisions here today a round of applause for their outstanding performances. This is where our Navy heritage meets the future and where these young men and women enter the profession of arms. The staff of Recruit Training Command is dedicated to providing the United States Navy with basically trained, physically fit, and smartly disciplined sailors, such as those standing here this morning. These sailors have successfully, successfully completed 10 weeks of demanding recruit training. They have earned the right to wear the uniform recognized throughout the world as a symbol of freedom. They and others like them serve as the bedrock of our naval forces. They will join other sailors around the world to give our Navy its combat edge and enable us to help keep this nation secure. This training group is ready to graduate and serve in the world's most powerful Navy. Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you 367 of the newest and sharpest sailors in the United States Navy. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, please be seated. Recruit Training Command competitive system among individual recruits and divisions promotes teamwork, attention to detail, and pride in accomplishments. Divisions performing above standards throughout their training are awarded recognition flags in five mission areas. Academic achievement, military drill, compartment readiness, applications, and physical fitness. These flags are carried as a visible symbol of the division's success. Each flag indicates that your sailors, individually and as teams, met performance standards in one or more mission areas. A division that excels in every phase of training qualifies for the Battle Efficiency, Honor Division recognition, and is awarded the Battle E Honor for this exemplary achievement. Division 2, 2, 4 has earned this honor today, and we congratulate them on a job exceptionally well done. Captain Miller will now present this week's individual awards, and he'll be joined on the drill deck by our commanding officer, Captain Brooks. For achieving the highest overall academic score during recruit training, Seaman Apprentice Carson Bush, Division 225 from Fairfax, Virginia, has earned the Academic Excellence Award, which is sponsored by the Lake Defiance Chapter of Illinois Society of the Sons of the American Revolution. Seaman Apprentice Bush receives a letter of accommodation from the commanding officer. Well done, sailor. Thank you, Captain. 
For having displayed extraordinary qualities best expressing the American spirit of honor, initiative, and loyalty, Airman Nina Viertel, Division 221 from Fair, Texas, is awarded the Navy League Award, which is sponsored by the Navy League of the United States. Airman Viertel is presented with a commemorative plaque and a letter of commendation from the commanding officer. Well done, sailor. Seaman Apprentice Franklin Silva, Division 929 from New York, New York, is the winner of the United Service Organization Award for Best Exemplifying the Spirit and Intent of the Word Shipmate. Seaman Apprentice Silva is given a commemorative plaque from the United Service Organization. Well done, sailor. Fireman Grant James, Division 226 from Wichita, Kansas, is recipient of the Military Order of World Wars Award of Merit. This award is presented for meritorious performance during recruit training. Fireman Jameson is presented with a commemorative plaque from the Military Order of World Wars. Well done, sailor. The Military Officer Association Leadership Award is presented to Airman Nicole Rankin, Division 221 from Milton Freewater, Oregon. For demonstrating exceptional tenacity and professionalism, Airman Rankin is awarded a letter of accommodation from our Commanding Officer. Well done, sailor. Seaman Alec Morris, Division 223 from Grand Rapids, Michigan, is a recipient of the Navy Club of the United States of America Military Excellence Award for best exemplifying the qualities of enthusiasm, devotion to duty, military bearing, and teamwork. This award places him at the pinnacle of today's newest sailors. He is awarded a flag letter accommodation. Seaman Morris, the staff of Recruit Training Command, salutes you as the finest of this group of graduates. Well done, sailor. Divisions, attention. It is appropriate to recognize such outstanding individual accomplishments by these sailors with a round of three cheers. The adjutant will lead all graduating divisions in three cheers for this morning award winners. I have the distinct pleasure this morning of introducing our reviewing officer, Captain Scott Miller, commanding officer of USS Carl Vinson. He is a 1984 graduate of the U.S. Naval Academy. Among, among Captain Miller's operational tours are executive officer and commanding officer of Strike Fighter Squadron 192, executive officer of USS John C. Stennis, and commanding officer of USS New Orleans. Additionally, he has served ashore as an instructor pilot, Strike Fighter 106, Flag Lieutenant for Commander U.S. Naval Forces Central Command, and that's the Joint Staff J-8 Force Structure Resources and Assessment Directorate, where he authored the Global Force Management Implementation Guidance. Ladies and gentlemen, please join me in a warm recruit training command welcome to Captain Scott Miller.
Thanks, Thanks Kevin. Good morning. You guys look absolutely amazing. I am humbled and honored for the opportunity to speak at this graduation. To the staff here at Navy Recruit Training Command and Captain Brooks Commanding Officer, thank you. Thank you for providing the fleet with well-trained, smart-looking, and disciplined sailors, ones who we will continue the process of molding into our nation's highly trained and forward-deployed naval fighting force. To the families who support our sailors, our Navy is a deploying force, both in times of war and in times of peace. We operate forward, ensuring freedom and preserving the rules-based international order. We are able to do that because of your selfless service and encouragement from home. Thank you very much. To our Navy's newest sailors, I want to welcome you to the most diverse and merit-based organization in the world. I highlight those two qualities because they directly contribute to what makes us the greatest and strongest Navy that has ever existed. We don't all think alike, and we don't see problems from the same perspective, and that is a good thing. We recognize and advance to leadership our best performing sailors. The Navy is strong because we use our differences under our best leaders to form unbeatable teams that can overcome any task or challenge. When you arrive at your first command, you may be called upon to act upon, called upon to act using the tools that you have already been given. Day one, your instincts will kick in. You will use all that you have learned, and we will, the fleet, will build on that and continue to develop you personally and professionally. On every ship, in every squadron, and on in every submarine, sailors are preparing and practicing for how to respond to a variety of challenges, whether combating fires or flooding or performing preventative and corrective maintenance. We continuously keep ourselves ready. I want to be among the first to welcome or to thank you for your service. Think about your response to that statement, because you will soon receive those words of appreciation from grateful Americans. Know that you are doing more in direct support of the Constitution and the defense of the United States of America than most who enjoy our freedoms. Answering a call to something bigger than yourself. Take pride in yourself and your uniform. Those compliments you received were earned by those who preceded us. Serve with honor, courage, and commitment every day. Times may be challenging. Maybe this will be the hardest thing you've done. There is a reason the Navy uses the word arduous to describe our duty at sea. But service in our Navy will be more rewarding than you can imagine. Whether you serve for your initial enlistment of three to six years or stay for 40 or more, keep your eyes on the goal of someday leaving the Navy with an honorable discharge whenever that may be. I look forward to seeing you in the fleet and serving alongside you. Congratulations, shipmates. Captain Miller will now receive the salute of the graduating divisions, and he will be joined on the drill deck by our commanding officer, Captain Brooks. Please remain seated until your graduate has been placed on liberty.
Please join me in one more round of appreciation for our wonderful musicians of Navy Band, Great Lakes. Flags, post, section leaders, fall out and retrieve outer garments. Thanks again to each and every one of you for joining us on this most memorable of Navy days. Ladies and gentlemen, please utilize all safety rails and exits in an orderly fashion. And without further delay, now hear this, Liberty Call, Liberty Call, Fallout!